Hi boys and girls, are you ready to make another musical instrument? Today's is kind of neat because it's really simple to make, but for our older children, it can be a little more complex. Today, we're going to make a box harp. Here's what we need. An empty box. Susie Sunshine just used one that used to have cards in it. Some rubber bands. Today we're going to use five, but you can use as many as you want. <laughs> Some scissors and tape. Let's get started. First of all, we're going to empty our box and then just stretch the rubber band around the long end. If you remember from when we made a ukulele, if you stretch a rubber band, it will make music. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so there's one. Two, three, four, and five. Now, each rubber band, depending on how tight it is, will make a different sound. Let's see what these are making. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Well, you know, if you pull the rubber band tighter, the sound actually goes up. Let's give it a try. Bum, bum, bum. And if you pull it tighter. Ooh, it got loose on the other end. We'll hold it here and pull it tight. Bum, bum, bum. Tighter. Bum, bum, bum. Now, what if you wanted the strings to stay in the same place that you had them so that the sound wouldn't change? That's how we make it a little more complex. What we do is we take a piece of tape about the size of the smaller end of the box, and we're going to put it right across the strings and cut it so that we hold it in place. Now make sure you push down really, really hard. That way they won't move. <laughs> Actually, Susie Sunshine made a box harp a little bit earlier and I tuned it to exactly what I wanted. Now sometimes the strings move a little. Let's see if it sounds the same. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. <gasps> that sounds like itty bitty inchworm. Itty bitty inchworm measuring a tree. <laughs> a box harp. 